little piece of chicken left in the bottom. I've got it. Oh, you fucker. Oh, got it. Heinz chicken soup, except no substitute. Fucking gorgeous, Ansel. Gorgeous. <clears throat> you alright, yeah? Right, listen. I've been a bit better today. I was a bit badly yesterday. I've been like badly on and off for a few months now, as you guys know. Yesterday I was like all wangy and all that, right? So today, alright, listen, listen. First of all, right? So yesterday I told you about that reading on that thing, that blood sugar thing, yeah? And it said like 320. And I looked it up online and it said anything over 300, danger, go to emergencies immediately. I was like, what the fuck? Thought I was gonna have like a diabetic coma during the night, thought I was gonna die, because I thought, nah, I'm not I'm not gonna hospital to die in the night time, I'm not doing it. I'll see if I can get through the night and go in the morning, right? Seriously, if you go to if you go to a clinic or anywhere, A and E at like on a mid not midnight, on an evening, what they're gonna do, they're gonna keep you in till the next day, aren't they? Fuck that man, take my chances. Anyway. So this morning I managed to get emergency appointment with surgery, right? So I goes down there, yeah. Seat doc and all that, and she sets me up with nurse as well, right? This new nurse. Oh, guys, right, go on Google, right, and put Zoe Barnes in and do an image search, right, straight up. Now, she's not called Zoe Barnes, I'm not that fucking bad. You know what I mean? She's, it, Zoe Barnes is a character in a programme called House of Cards, my favourite programme, right, but she was like a younger version of her. Fucking hell, nah, fuck. She put that thing on my arm, my blood pressure was going through fucking roof, was it? I, seriously, I was there two hours, two hours I was, I only needed to be there about half an hour, but I kept like panning it out. I kept, like, even though I was all right, I kept making out there was something wrong with me just so she kept touching me in different places and that. And I said, fuck, it's what you do when you get older. And I don't think she was very professional, to be honest, because she's asked to see me again next week. And I don't think it's anything to do with me health or anything, like a follow up. I think she fancies me. Seriously. So I'm going to pack a couple of aspirin. But, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if it, you know, she should be a bit more professional. What do you think? Anyway, it turns out, right, that fucking machine, right, I did a reading this morning, 285 it said, right, went to the doctor's, I was fucking 99 on theirs, fucking things broke, there was no fucking wrong with me. They think me, like, me dizziness and all that's just to do with that illness I had last fucking week when I was in hospital, fucking hell, that's good. Dig a fucking hole for me now and get shot, guys, that's what I said. Anyway, right, so... Uh, obviously Liverpool play Newcastle this weekend and I was wondering what your thoughts were about it if you get to see this uh, video in time. Uh, Rafa Benitez, I love Rafa, you know I love Rafa, but I really want to batter his team, do you know what I mean? Someone's going to get a fucking caution guys, someone is going to get a caution, someone's going to get a fucking pasting, right though, do you not think? Will it be Newcastle or will we, or will we get turned over 1-0 and be all going mental? Um, I'm really looking forward to that game. It's it's one of my favourite fixtures each year. Monarch, please stop sending me emails. Fuck me, how many emails do you want to send me a day? Um, right, so what I wanted to do was look at the press conference notes today. Now, I haven't seen the press conference because, like I say, I went to town to go and get my hair cut. And I've just got back. So let's see what James has got to say about it. Klopp on Benitez, he said he met Rafa once when he was manager of Liverpool. We beat him 5 mil at Mains, the rest is history. Mm. Hopefully he remembers that. The big success we met, meanwhile, 10 to 15 times in different occasions. It was always really nice. He's a very interesting person and we always had a good time. He's still connected to the club and wishes the club all the best, how it should be after his fantastic time here. Even in the summer we had talks. I know him better than most of the other Premier League managers. It's nice, but no impact on the game. Now then, Klopp was asked uh, about Sturridge's record at St. James's Park and his team's record in front of the goal. And he said, right, to make us more clinical... Question mark. No, there is nothing I could say that would make us finalise all our situations, but we have to keep on going again and again and again. Should I speak about the two headers, Roberto and Salah had in Moscow and say, if you hit like this instead, we need to stay confident and keep doing it. At the moment, our aim is to be better than average. It makes no sense to criticise finishing. It's about creating and using the qualities, see what I did there, of the boys. It's my responsibility, but I cannot shoot from the bench. He said he saw Newcastle's uh, he saw the Newcastle's full game against Brighton, good team, and they were unlucky. We know about their quality, all right. Uh, he's been and he was asked uh, about the foundation for the season. He said it means nothing in terms of the Newcastle game. We have to sort our problems, pick a line up, and give respect to Newcastle. They're a good team, well organised, unlucky at Brighton with the goal. We know their quality. It's getting boring now, but the situation in terms of points, Sevilla and Moscow felt like a defeat, but it wasn't. Eleven points sounds not perfect. But it's not like we cannot see the other teams. I'm not going to say, oh my God, these teams are so good and I must get a season ticket for Man United. 
right? Because as it says here, it says clock on criticism and the Manchester clubs. I'm not interested in criticism, only the opinion of the people. If pundits, stroke journalists criticise, that's their job. If other teams are flying, should we give up and say, oh my God, I want to have a season ticket for Manchester United? I have no problem with criticism, only when people think we cannot sort our problems. I want to let the people know we have not lost our football ability overnight. The Manchester... What's that say? Carlo Ancelotti. Oh, yeah. The Manchester clubs are two fantastic clubs with fantastic managers. I'm sorry to say this. Uh, Chelsea, Tottenham, oh my God, Arsenal are on a good way. All we can do is make our way. See, the thing is, guys, right? Look, do you not think, do you not think when you see these comments, right, that this isn't being funny towards Klopp at all, but it's like the same sort of comments, but just attached to a different manager. Like, they're the same sort of comments that we used to hear from Brendan Rodgers. Then we used to hear the same ones from Doug Lee. It's like, it's every season's like deja vu. To me, anyway, it feels like that. I don't know if I'm wrong with that. I'm not having a dig at all. I'm just saying, like, it's like, it's not the word's not philosophy, is it? It's um, us. It's just us. It's like the same same thing. Like every year, we know what's going to happen in the fucking transfer window. Usually, don't we? We know we all get our expectations up and anticipation and that. And then you know, going into the last transfer window, I was upbeat to fuck. And you guys were all going, nah, don't you know what'll happen? We'll be linked with this, this, and this, and it won't happen, and all that. Yeah, the fucking yeah. And you're right. And it's like we follow this pattern. And I just think sometimes it's like, you know, how many times have we been turning the corner? Are we on a fucking roundabout or something? You know, it's like the same things we're hearing all the time. Why is that? Why is it that no matter who the manager is, we still get the same sort of fundamental issues? Weird. FSG. <clears throat> so, on Ancelotti, because uh, obviously he was linked with Bayern Munich yesterday, was uh, Klopp, because Ancelotti's got the bullet, right? He said, uh, not a lot of things in this business can surprise me anymore, but I do not know what Bayern's thoughts were on this decision. I watched a game with PSG, individual quality can decide games, and I just say, I can't help it. And that was how it was. But it was not one game that the Bayern bosses decided on, I think. It's not my business. Carlo is very experienced and hasn't lost his ability, football ability overnight. If he wants to find a club, he will. Doesn't sound like a man that wants the Bayern job, is it? By saying, I do not know what Bayern's thoughts were on this decision. So, you know, I was going to make a video separate um, about this, but we've touched on it now. And um, I wouldn't be concerned about any of the stuff you're reading. It's just obvious speculation. Um, and why would he not be linked with them? So, But I just don't see any reason why he would want to go there. So he's been talking about this Christmas Eve fixture and the controversy surrounding the pressures that would be put on us. you know. And he said, let me say this, if the supporters want to see a game on Christmas Eve, then the TV, TV broadcaster will find a way. Now, I know it is possible, and if something not too cool around fixtures can happen, then Liverpool is involved. I always said that the broadcaster has considered that the wonderful thing they sell depends on the players and the quali quality, and quality and freshness of them. If they have to play 24th of December, then can we fight against it? Sky, if they really want to bring the players, the supporters, the people who work for television to work on this night. It's no problem for the people to be concentrated on something else other than football on this important night. Maybe we could just play without the media, just one camera. I really cannot imagine that anyone wants to watch football on that night, but I'm not so important. Forget it, I want to watch football all the time. I can't be doing right with these managers that are always fucking whinging, right? You've got Mourinho whinging about when we play. We're whinging about when we fucking play. Everyone's fucking whinging, these managers, man. Just play the fucking game. That's what you've got a squad for, innit? That's what you're going for. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, come on, don't mind what he's saying is right. Yeah, I get it. But in that, like, it's not, it's not a conspiracy, is it? You know what I'm saying? Personally, like, I don't know what day fucking Christmas Eve. Let's have a look. What day is Christmas Eve fall on, on this year? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't even know how to work this. Right, here we go. Uh, October, November, December 24th. I do apologise talking about uh, Christmas if you're Muslim or not like that, you know. I don't want to get, don't, don't be fucking getting, you know, like all put out on that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, do, 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 don't fucking start, don't try and get me dragged into all that shit, man. Them Muslim brothers and sisters are my fucking friend. I'm not stupid. I've said this many a time, man, right? They've got my back, I'm staying with the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, don't let, you know, just let us, this, us Christians, see I'm an acting Christian, me. I'm like Daniel Sturridge and the rest of them. You know when they go on pitch giving it all fucking that? I do that just walking in the fucking kitchen. 24 falls on a Sunday. Yeah, you see, now I want my football. I'm sorry, but Christmas is fucked enough as it is. It's, it sends you all over the place, doesn't it, with dates and stuff like that. So now I want a game. 
I mean, what will happen on Saturday 23rd? Is there a fixture list? I have no idea. We've got fixtures. 24th, man. Played the fucking game. Yeah. But I've got to be honest, at Christmas, Boxing Day is the most important one for me. But I do get very disturbed, and New Year's and all that, I get very disturbed and very, very, very pissed off when I start hearing, especially the foreign managers coming in saying, oh, we should have a winter break and, you know, not play games over the Christmas period. I love football at fucking Christmas. Now, I get what he's saying in terms of, like, you know, like so many games in nine days and all that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not great, and I know that, I know that. But isn't this the whole point of, like, you know, addressing hurdles, you know, dealing with these things. That's the whole point, isn't it? And I think a lot of other clubs go through the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not having it. Get fucked. Like, I know what I mean is get, 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 get fucked to the suggestion, not to the boss. Because I love the boss, you know what I'm saying? It will be four games in nine days for us if we have to play December 24th. Skies to make a decision whether they really want to do this. Yeah, man. Fucking Sunday, man. I mean, let's be honest, right? Christmas, right? Fucking Christmas, right? Christmas, you load of fucking shit in it, right? Here's my true, here's my true colours right now. It's a load of wank. I can't be doing it. It's for kids, innit? It's for little kids and that. You know what I'm saying? Some of you want to still be little kids and you like your Christmas. I buy no one fucking now at Christmas, mate. Now, not even my own kids. I do not buy my own kids Christmas presents. Seriously. I didn't know kids, kids, but not now. I just said, right, what do you fucking, you know, like all year round. My lad wants something, my boy wants something, I'll fucking get him it. You know what I'm saying? Can't be doing when he's like, oh, I'll get you it for Christmas. You know, no, I'll sacrifice a night out and I'll get you what you want, son. It's my, my, my fucking knife and my fucking daughter and my grandson. In fact, this year, there you go. I've got a grandson this year, haven't I? Yeah, I just forgot. Yeah, yeah, I'll be buying presents. Well, some other mug will. I'll just be the one that fucking pays for it, as usual, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Christmas. You know, what are you doing? You know what Christmas is for me? Christmas starts usually around 13th of December when the PDC dart starts on Sky Sports. That's when Christmas fucking starts. That's it. That's my Christmas. There you go, right there. All right? We don't have none of that fucking, like, Christmas dinner shit here. Wherever I live. I'm not into it. Do you know why? I'm going to tell you why now because I'm a miserable fat cunt, right? Because my nana's dead, my granddad's dead, my mum's dead, my dad's dead. Everyone's fucking dead. Even Rodders is fucking dead. You remember Rodders? Yeah. We need him back on that wall, don't we? So I can't sit there with a fucking pink cat on my head going, Tah! you know what I mean? They're not around anymore, are they? And the granddad was Scottish, which made it even worse, you know, because they were right into all that, like, New Year Christmas jigging it, and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't want to watch football, that's it. Steak and chips on Christmas Day for me. Although last year, I went on piss all day, it was great. <laughs> it was the best Christmas ever last year. Right, what are we talking about, guys? Guys, if I waffle on too much in my videos, I'm not apologising, all right? Because I know that my people's like it. So, if you don't like it, you're one of the minority. Go and watch some other shit. What else we got, guys? Klopp on his Fab Four. He's talking about Mane. He says he's had nine or ten days without a game. Lacked rhythm a bit. Roberto worked hard. Unlucky moments. Phil and Mo had good moments. That's the story of that game. But we have different opinions. Those four together have unbelievable quality. <laughs> quality. But cannot win without the other players. And do you know what? I'm reading a newspaper or something like that, you know, I fucking say it. Like, even if I'm sat in a pub going, oh, yeah, look, Dave, these are uh, quality windows and that. They all look like a fucking mania. And I go, what, don't you get it? Don't you watch Pop Talk TV or what? Uh, we've made a big step in terms of working together, but we cannot create much bigger chances. We score goals from more difficult moments than the ones we miss. We created without Mane, without Phil, without Roberto and Mo. We have different lineups, but I have to make decisions once they are fit. Boring. Uh, and he talks about um, Woodburn's Wales call-up. It's fantastic. He's a great boy. He understands the situation. We had a very good talk, very short talk. He told me, I know, boss, it's all good. He enjoys going to the 19th Champions League, playing under 23, training with us. He takes every minute as a chance to help whichever team he's with. And I like that. I like that. I like that. That attitude. Yeah. Uh, he has lots to learn, but I'm really happy for him and for Wales to have the chance to use him from the start or as a sub. Ah, I like that. That's nice, actually, because I, I thought that was going to be a bit boring, but it's all right. No new injury concerns, uh, a few knocks, but nobody ruled out. Now and then he talks about uh, Coutinho. He, he says, it's just good to have him here. We don't have to talk about how we handled each situation in the summer. Uh, we are professionals, and we take it as it is. We had no idea how he would be after this injury, but he is in a really good shape now. The team, the others, were really happy when he was back. There were no difficult decisions. We are professional footballers. Being 100% when the decisions are made, that is the only place to be. Now then, he's talking about Lalana 
I, I want to call him Liana, you know that, don't you? Uh, and Klein, he says, both are doing really well. Klein, he has made really good steps, and Adam is completely normal in his recovery, outside running, and has no problems anymore. We just have to wait until the tendon is a tendon again. No setbacks, just fine. Uh, and that's it. Um... Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. So I don't know if you've got to chip in with any comments on that. Yeah, mm. that's it. I'm not going to waffle on too much today. I think. I think that's. I think that'll do. Uh, I've updated the um, below the video. The video description has got all the new links for the different places you can follow me now. You know what I mean? Like the links to the podcast, uh, Twitter, Facebook. You see, like if you've got Twitter, you should follow at coptalk dot uh, at coptalk TV. No dot in it. No dot. Cop Talk TV, right? I mean, we've obviously got the at Cop Talk channel, but if you like the videos, if you follow at Cop Talk TV, when one goes out, the minute it goes out, it auto posts on there, right? And then you know I've done a vid, you know what I'm saying? Clever that, isn't it? Uh, so do that, have a look down there, all right? Good, right, I'll let you crack on. I'll get this video online. Uh, it's 4 p.m. here. Uh, so I might get time to do a bit more content. Don't think I'll do a podcast today. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I still feel a bit wangy. I still feel a bit wangy in me uh, in me noddle, um, <clears throat> and it's it's dark. Oh yeah, God, I tell you everything, don't I? In this office, I've got these great big fucking long LED lights that I bought specifically for this new office for the videos for you guys. Thanks to my DKB.TV legends, right? That watch my other vids and. Um, they start, do you remember, they make, they make the screen flicker. Fucking gutted. So I have to turn them off when I make a video, and I've, and I've bought another two lights here, soft, they're called soft boxes, I think. So I've got four lights around me, yeah, in a dark room. So my head's a bit like, you know, ah, 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 I'll show, I'll show, I'll show. Right, listen, if I don't see you again, have a great weekend, and uh, be safe, put some on it, guys. You know what I'm saying? You won't pull out, right? And plus, you don't want your dick dropping off anyway. Uh, girls, if you're watching this, inbox me, you know what I'm saying? There's still a bit of life in the old dog, just, <laughs> just yet. <laughs> I, I, I don't honestly don't I get away with this. Alright, guys, I love you. Have a great weekend.